live from the legendary Firehouse Saloon, Badlands Radio Studio. Ladies and gentlemen, the Badlands, welcome to our kind of show. It's Drink of Ages, our inaugural broadcast. We got a room full of beer drinkers, man. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome to the Badlands and the legendary Firehouse Saloon, especially you, John. Brother, welcome, man. Man, it is good to be here. Badlands Radio, got some Firehouse Saloon, a lot of good beer going on. All right, man, real quick, man, explain to me what you do. You drink beer and talk on the radio? Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Ladies and gentlemen, good night. All right. Now, brother, uh, let's go into it a little bit. This, this is a great idea for a radio show, and I think it's perfect for the Badlands. A little bit of background, quick look, man. A little bit of background. I started drinking at an early age, and that <laughs> led me to drink some more, and I one day discovered how much I enjoy the good craft beer. And from that, just started meeting interesting people like who we're going to talk to tonight. Realized there's this great passion between beer and man, I love it. I absolutely love it. Love talking to everybody about it. And the same passion applies with music and musicians. So why not do a show about beer and music? Once again, my friend, welcome. Thank you very much. Don't let the show speak for itself because I know it does, but I do have one more question. All right. What do you have for me to taste and sell? Actually, what? let's get some of this pumpkin beer over here. We'll pumpkin be talking beer. about it in a little All bit. Right. Is that the feature beer? That's the feature beer. All right, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Drink of Ages. Only one radio station can do this right. And it's Badlands Radio. Is it on, guys? Yeah. Woo now, come on. That's true, because the last radio station didn't quite do it right, because <laughs> they ultimately turned into a Beyonce all the time. And Drink of Ages, nah, we just couldn't do that. Now, don't get me wrong. Boom 92 right now, they're driving some jams, but... <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't quite work for a beer and music show, especially the music that we play on this show. So, I want to welcome everybody to Badlands Radio over here at Firehouse Saloon. This is a live show, so you know, bear with us for um, some of the things that might you might not have heard before. But being that we're on Badlands, we can take take it just a little bit further sometimes. But. We do have a pretty awesome show tonight for our first show over here. We have Josh Haley and Caleb Wilson from Texian Brewing Company. Howdy. Hey, how's it yeah, going? Right here by the microphone. We also have Henry Dillman and Jay Peak from Gordon Street Tavern. How's it going? It's hey. going well. Going well. And Alan Ward and Brad Rogers from Brigadoon Brewery and Brewing School out there at the Renaissance Festival. They're, they're hanging out at the bar right now having a beer, so they'll be in here in a little bit. Then our music guest, Man, awesome, awesome, awesome. Robert Coon. What's up? What's going on, man? Good, man. Good. We're going to hear a little bit of this throughout the whole show. So Robert's going to play a lot of segments and a lot more music now that we have a two-hour show. Uh, kind of worried a little bit because the one-hour show started going really downhill by like the sixth segment. And now that we have doubled that, we'll, we'll see how it works out. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. But... Um, now let's do a, I think we need to have a toast. Honestly, because uh, we're all sitting around. Some of us have beers, man. <laughs> we gotta have a runner. All right, there, there honestly is a ton of stuff to toast to right now. Uh, for one, the weather's just been phenomenal. What do you think, guys? Oh, yeah, it's just awesome. been, I don't know, it's pretty amazing stuff happening out there. Beautiful time of year, uh, new studio, new home for the show. We can all sit around and actually drink beer while we're talking on the radio, which you know, is a lot more fun. And of course, man, I'm a big Rockets fan. I gotta tell you, they're 2-0 right now, kicking some ass out there. So, ton of stuff to, to toast, but uh, let's just go ahead and just do first live studio show here at Firehouse Saloon. So everybody raise a glass. Cheers. 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 Josh, you really don't have, okay, you slammed it. <laughs> That's how you do it, man. So, so yeah, so it was pretty interesting with the station switch because uh, it was a little unexpected and it kind of sucked for a lot of people over there because there's a lot of named people that worked over at News 92, like Liam Griffith, Craig Roberts, these people that we grew up listening to, and of course, Joel Mor Moreland, <laughs> and I know he's poking me in the back, but Joel <laughs> stuck with me though. He's still producing the show, so thank you very much, Joel. He couldn't get away from all the good beer. So, and plus, the, the ladies just go crazy because we do a beer show. It helps. Yeah, definitely. Yep. And uh, so, yeah, so once the opportunity came up to come over here at Firehouse Saloon and 
put a bar in, drink of the ages bar, and they're putting the taps in next week. Uh, great craft beer we're gonna have over here. And just come hang out on Thursdays from six to eight. Watch the show, listen to the show, drink some craft beer, get to know some of the brewery and the brewery people around. And that's what we're gonna do tonight. But, let's, you guys gonna say anything at all? Y'all gonna stare at him. We're just in your awe right now. What do y'all think of uh, what do you think of the new setting for the show? Uh, it's an awesome, awesome studio, great format. I'm uh, excited for it, brother. I'm good. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a whole lot of fun, especially with the stage out there. Are we shotgunning? I hear it's oh. opening. I do whatever you want. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jason has a rodeo clown. That's what you shotgun. <laughs> That's dangerous. Little hot pillows. <laughs> yep. So. No, it's going to be great. It's going to, we're going to have a lot of fun over here with the, especially the music side of stuff. Having shows at Firehouse Saloon, it already comes with a good history. History here in Houston. I think the, the first time I came here was about 20, at least 20 years ago, something like that. It was mostly outdoors back then, wasn't it? I, I remember coming in and seeing the inside, though. Like, I watched the David on Coke. That's how I came and saw. Yeah, good show. Then came back and uh, brought up a lot of things. And Firehouse Saloon is pretty kick-ass because they retired firemen. And that's my phone going off. Uh, retired firemen, and they do a lot to support the firemen around Houston. So it's going to be, we're going to have a lot of fun over here, especially with live music and sitting in the studio just drinking beer for hours. What could go wrong? I, I can't think of anything, honestly, that could go wrong. But uh, Caleb? How you doing over there, man? I'm doing fantastic. I, I, you dressed for the occasion, buddy. Yes. You got your hat on. I put my uh, my good clothes on. I'm liking it. Yeah. I'm sure overalls. <laughs> yes, I'm missing the overalls. Nah. I, I, I forgot the sleeves at home, too. Yeah, no, that's the best part of it. But um, I know Henry, uh, you and Jay, man, from Gorsery Tavern down there in Alvin. It's going to be a lot of fun today because you guys brought some snacks for us to try. Yeah, we sure did. Brought some uh, scotch eggs and some oh. and some uh, pork short ribs. Oh, man. And we'll, truffle we'll, mac and cheese. We'll get into the scotch eggs in a little bit because those things are more than addicting. Mm. But uh, <laughs> now there's going to be, be a lot, man. I think if we all sit around and drink for two hours, we're going to end up talking about some things that we might regret the next day. But it's going to make for entertainment radio. So, I don't know, everybody's looking at me right now. I can't see Joel behind me. I think I feel like he's waving behind me and saying, do something. Right. Say something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buddy, Two yeah. minutes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. <laughs> take flight. All right, well, our, our music guest tonight, like I said, is a cool and talented Robert Coom. And, uh, man, welcome to Drink of Ages, buddy. He's going to play us out on some of the segments, and then we're going to have a little conversation with him a couple times throughout the night and hear some more songs. He's going to play a live show on the stage once we're done. So, why well, don't you play us a little music? All right, man. Sure. She got a shepherd in music while he's waiting. Y'all hear the whole song? Let's hear it. Let's go. Right. One cool. Let's jam. So, since we're live, yeah. <laughs> there's little pauses in the show. It's a first surprise. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta work out the kinks. Alright. I don't have any headphones on, so you'll just tell me how I sound. <laughs> Trust you. One, two, three, four. Well, one day, man, leave his mama. 
Mama, Andy, Papa, Andy, take him away. Well, wife gonna go and make you heart trouble, but the wife he gonna make him feel fine. Well, wife gonna make him go jump in the river when he tired of the rowing and the cry one time. He tired of the rowing and the trying. Well, I know that my 